Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we are working on week 28 in my 2023 Project Life album. So for this week, I am using my July um, Studio Calico monthly documenter kit. Um, this stamp here is actually from a previous Ellie Edwards uh, kit, but I needed to create like a label to put my week on so i thought i would stamp and i um pretty much left almost everything in on this video even the journaling the cutting <laughs> real time just sped up because it was like mm, like 30 minutes 31 minutes um so i tried to shorten it as much as i could um but i really love this title card here and i'm so happy that there's a three by four of that same um, print because I just love it um, but yeah so um, this week's or this month's kit had the alpha stickers to the left here and they had um, like lowercase and uppercase so I just decided to like alternate each letter um, it does kind of look a little weird <laughs> um, but it works and then I'm um, pulling out the 28 from this scrapbook.com sticker book that I have um, with kind of like the matching colors. And then um, I wanted to use some of these labels, but I'm using a card already. You'll see that says July, so I didn't want to like add it again. Um, but I may go back and use those in my summer album just so they don't sit there. Um, and then I'm going to use the chipboard here to put this little smiley face as the little divider between the two. And, um, I love these labels that came with the kit as well. They're like not your usual like sticker label, you know, that they give. Um, but yeah, totally love that. So for this photo here, it's just a shot of a Barbie puzzle that I found at Five Below. So I went ahead and started working on that and I wanted to document it in my album. And I end up deciding that I want to add like a pattern print to that left side instead of leaving it white. Um, so I'm going to end up using this cute um, cherry pattern, even though you're not going to really be able to see most of it. Um, however, I do like how it came out. And um, see, I told you I left everything in. We're cutting the photos. We're, <laughs> we're doing everything in this video. <laughs> um, but I hope you do enjoy it. Uh, I'm going to adhere that down and add a label at the bottom. Um, it's like a little skinny label that came with the kit. Um, and here I'm just trimming that card down. So I wanted to use this um, 3x4 card because I seen that the uh, stamp set that came with it, the word summer, fits right in that little block at the bottom. So I went ahead and seasoned my stamp on my arm and then i'm stamping with some katherine pooler ink um it's so juicy and then i'm going to get the outline of it i wasn't going to because i was like oh my gosh i hope i don't um like mess it all up but it actually turns out good um and that one i use the stays on ink the black and that one's very bold as well and then i think um i use uh, I use like this smaller stamp that goes in that little cut out there and um, I was trying to find the correct color I wanted so I tried this lighter blue one but um, you actually can't really see it on my card so then I'm gonna go ahead and look through my colors again <laughs> and um, pull out this darker color and I end up just going with that one there and I love how it actually turned out. I love that I'm trying to stamp more to use it, not to just like let them sit on my shelf and look pretty. Um, but yeah, here's a little label that I'm going to put with the star on it. And um, I'll just add it at the bottom. I thought I wanted to layer it like I see on Jenny Garcia do it, but it just didn't look right to me. So I just kept it with that simple label and put puzzle time and called that one done. These next two photos, it was um, free Slurpee day. And um, as you see, I was trying to pull off the plastic on the front, but for some reason it's on the 
back side, which I didn't realize till later. So it doesn't really affect me. Um, but uh, I went ahead and put a little journaling box at the bottom and just put a uh, free slurpy day at 7-Eleven. This next photo is of my late birthday gift that I got for my parents. They're like marble color like Crocs and it matched that journaling card perfect with like peach pink white it was beautiful um the next two photos is an older photo that i i took years ago of the castle at disneyland and i just paired it with that oh happy day journaling card and i wrote that it was disneyland's 68th birthday um when we did have our passes we would go every year for um its birthday but we don't so just celebrated at home Then I'm going to add these little puffy dots um, from uh, Ali Studio stickers that, that I had uh, just to kind of use them up. And I wanted to doodle on there, but I didn't know what. So I just moved on. <laughs> and this next photo, again, is the sunset from my backyard and just as in the backyard. And then I have another grilling photo. Um, and here is where I'm going to try to like layer... <laughs> some kind of way um i don't love it but it at least used up stickers and added color to that photo on to the next side we have just a four by six i thought i was going to add something but i just leave it alone it was just the home run derby and all-star game that we saw um this one here i'm going to add here this happy face down and it just shows the left photo is me reading my kindle while my son was in the pool one evening and then the next one um same thing we were in the pool. It was probably a different day, but because I used the same filter on Instagram with those little squiggly lines, I thought that it was cute to just make one four by six photo. Uh, here is a photo of me in my Barbie shirt with same thing, the perfect color um, background card. And I'm going to staple this little cherry on and trim the side. And then I realize I see the back of that card and I'm like, oh, that's so pretty. <laughs> but nonetheless I use the other side and then here is um a little sun and I'm going to end up using some of the chipboard that says I think like warm days and outside or something like that um and I'm just going to kind of decorate that card a little just so I can use up some of the um pieces that came in the kit I thought I wanted to add these like hearts and stars but I ultimately didn't end up using that. I added this watermelon that I thought was super cute. And then I um, was trying to figure out what I wanted to put in that top corner. And I go with this chipboard that says sunshine. And then I'll add a few more of those little puffy dots from that sticker sheet and call that card done. And the next photo is a screenshot from the weather app, weather shot app. And it's showing that it was 104. Um, and then I have that summertime journaling card that I just end up adding a little vellum piece or not vellum, like a little plastic piece <laughs> and, um, a little label as well to the top. And I ran out of my little staples and I was too lazy to like put them in. So that's why I went to the adhesive and then I just put another, um, chipboard the bottom two photos this one here is a photo two photos from taking my son to the batting cages on sunday and um here again i tried to kind of like layer ish a bit so i have the um little plastic piece plus the little label and then on this right photo is just um, a photo of my son his dad took him to get a haircut so I'm gonna layer these two stickers and then I ultimately end up adding a label on there which I didn't think I was going to because I couldn't get it in the right spot but I actually end up adding it and for this week's spread also I do have another insert because it was a busy week and perhaps I guess I could have saved it all for my summer album but i really wanted them to be in the project life spread so that's what we ended up doing so you'll see here i'm using this flip out so that is um two i, I kind of like blew up my photo or however you want to say it but um 
we were in the pool Saturday evening and this picture does not do it any justice. It looks so much better on my camera. Um, I was just trying not to filter it because it didn't have a filter, but I just journaled how we were in the pool and we seen like this beautiful pink sky and it just reflected onto the water. Um, it was just perfect. And, um, on the back side of those three by four cards, it was national Friday. So I went ahead and took a picture of our free fries we got from McDonald's and I'll journal about that on there. And then the bottom photo, I am just going to end up leaving it like that it's just a picture of me grilling again because that's what we do best and i put it in backwards the back side here will have a smaller photo that i cut down of my son and our neighbor his bestie um and then the bottom photo was my son and i in the pool and um i'm gonna use this that's where i find out that there's a plastic piece on the back which doesn't make sense um but i'm gonna put the happy face there and then it has like a summer checklist, like what are you doing? So I marked off, uh, it says like pool slash beach. And then I'm going to put a little check mark chipboard on the left side of that. And um, adhere down this little plastic piece. It says like something about like get outdoors or something like that. Um, and I thought that was perfect since we were outside. And same thing here. Um, I think that little chipboard says sunshine or summer or something like that and um yeah just use the good old washi tape to stick it together same thing for this one here and then i'm going to try to add some more pieces of course um i end up going with the puffy heart and i think it looks perfect there and i will be showing you a flip through here all right so here we are with the flip through thank you so much for watching if you haven't done so already please consider liking and subscribing and i'll be seeing you soon friends bye